Hi, I'm Elefteria. In this episode, we'll talk about the science behind cupping therapy. As we all know, it's been around for thousands of years. But what makes it so enduringly popular? Well, beyond the dramatic look of those round marks, cupping has a remarkable ability to tackle muscle pain in ways that are as scientifically fascinating as they are effective. We'll explore how the power of suction, combined with the intricate workings of your fascia and nervous system, delivers transformative results. Whether you're curious about the buzz or seeking real relief, you're about to discover why cupping isn't just ancient wisdom. Yeah, it's modern muscle magic. But what exactly makes cupping so effective? Let's delve into the fascinating world of suction, fascia and neurophysiology to uncover the science behind it. At its core, cupping relies on negative pressure. That's a fancy term for suction. To pull the skin and underlying tissues upward into a cup. This might sound simple, but the ripple effects of this action are profound. Imagine your muscles and connective tissues as layers of lasagna noodles with sauce in between. These layers, known as fascia, need to slide smoothly over one another. However, due to injury, poor posture, or even just the wear and tear of daily life, these layers can get stuck, creating adhesions and restricting movement. And that's where cupping comes in. The suction created by cupping doesn't just affect the skin. It pulls on the superficial fascia, the layer closest to the skin, as well as the deeper fascia surrounding muscles. By lifting these layers, cupping helps break up adhesions and restore the glide between them. This process also stimulates mechanoreceptors, the specialized nerve endings embedded within the fascia. These receptors send signals to the brain, essentially telling it to release tension in the affected area. Well, it's like hitting the reset button on a tight, painful muscle. But the magic doesn't stop there. The negative pressure generated by cupping improves local blood circulation, bringing fresh oxygen and nutrients to the tissue while clearing out metabolic waste. Think of it as a spring clearing for your muscles. This boost in circulation also activates the lymphatic system, which is responsible for draining excess fluids and toxins. If you have ever felt like your muscles were carrying around yesterday's stress, that's because they probably were, and cupping helps flush it all out. Now, let's talk a bit about neurophysiology. Neurophysiology plays a huge role in how we perceive pain, and cupping has a clever way of hacking into that system. When the skin and fascia are lifted, it creates a novel stimulus, a sensation your brain isn't used to. This new input can override the pain signals your body has been sending, essentially distracting your nervous system. It's the same principle as rubbing your elbow after you bump it. The new sensation competes with the pain and takes center stage. For those who love a good visual, imagine your muscles as a sponge. After a long workout or sitting hunched over your desk, that sponge yet compressed, dry and stiff. Cupping acts like squeezing and releasing the sponge underwater, rehydrating and reoxygenating the tissues. The result? Softer, more pliable muscles that are ready to move and function as they should. That's because cupping also taps into the parasympathetic nervous system the part of your body responsible for rest and recovery. So, while your fascia is being freed and your circulation boosted, your whole system is getting a gentle nudge toward relaxation. To put it in perspective, imagine a tight knot in your back as a cranky toddler throwing a tantrum. No amount of pushing or prodding or reasoning seems to work. Now, introduce the sanction of a cup. It gently lifts and incompresses the area, almost like picking the toddler up and giving them a little bounce. The tension eases, the tantrum subsides, and peace is restored. In short, cupping is a multi-layered therapy, quite literally. It's not just about what's happening on the surface. It's about creating space and balance throughout your entire facial system. 
By addressing both the physical and neurological aspects of pain, it's no wonder that cupping has stood the test of time. Whether you're an athlete nursing sore muscles, or someone simply looking to move through life with a little less tension, cupping offers a uniquely effective solution. So, the next time you see someone with those signature round marks, you'll know, these aren't just spots, they're badges of relief. Thank you for joining me on this deep dive into the science and benefits of cupping therapy. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more fascinating content, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. And if you're eager to learn even more about holistic healing, check out my books on Amazon. They're packed with practical knowledge and tips to enhance your wellness journey. You'll find me there as Eleftheria Manjoru. Until next time, take care and keep exploring the wonders of the human body.